I want to ask you a question. Is God rejecting America with everything that we see, with all the trouble that's going on, with all the pain, with all the suffering, with all the turmoil that's happening in America nowadays? Is God rejecting America? Well, I want you to pay attention to the scripture that we're going to read right here. And I want to show you the truth. I want to show you the reality about that question. Is God rejecting America? First Samuel chapter 8. Verse 1 through 9, something similar happens in the times of Samuel as it's happening today. And this is going to answer the question, is God rejecting America? When Samuel became old, he made his sons judges over Israel. The name of his firstborn son was Joel. The name of his second, Abijah. They were judges in Beersheba. Yet his sons did not walk in his ways, but turned aside after gain. They took bribes and perverted justice. Then all the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramah and said to him, Behold, you are old and your sons do not walk in your ways. Now appoint for us a king to judge us like all the other nations. So they told Samuel, we don't want you as a judge. We don't want your sons as a judge. As a matter of fact, we don't want no more judges. Who established the judges? God did. They say, we don't want no more judges. We want a king. We want to be like all the other nations. They didn't have kings for hundreds of years. This is after God has delivered them from Egypt and their slavery and God has brought them to the promised land. They haven't had kings for hundreds of years, but now they want a king. Now they say they want to be like all the other nations. And look what verse 6 says. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed to the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Obey the voice of the people and all that they say to you. For they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me from being king over them. So right there, verse 7, the question is, is God rejecting America? I'm going to tell you this. No, America is rejecting God. That's the answer. America is rejecting God. God is not trying to reject America. God is not trying to reject you. And that's really my main focus today. The question was, is God rejecting America? The answer is no, America is rejecting God. And what I want you to focus is in this. You might feel that God is rejecting you, but no, that is not true. God is not rejecting you. The truth is that us, the people, we are the ones that reject God. God has not rejected us. We are the ones that many times reject the Lord. Scripture says that God so loved the world. That means you. That means me. That means everyone. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Many times it can seem that God is rejecting you, but the truth is that many of our own choices, many of our own paths that we chose to take, those are the things that are causing us our own troubles. But Jesus said, a righteous man will fall seven times, but seven times he will rise again. Why? Because the Lord upholds him with his righteous right hand. God does not want you to fall flat on your face and be destroyed. No, God is holding you by his righteous right hand. His righteous right hand is what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. He has prepared for you a way of salvation. Now, all you need to do is this. Well, 1 John says, if any of you have sin, let him confess his sin and God will wash him and cleanse him of all sins. What you need to do is this. For all those who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. What you need to do is this. The Bible says humility comes before honor, but pride comes before destruction. Pride comes before dishonor. The answer is, the solution is, the formula, the equation that's going to get you victory is humbling yourself to the Lord because God does not want to reject you. He already punished his son, Jesus Christ, on the cross. He already let his son be the punishment. He already let his son be the suffering on that cross. His son, Jesus Christ, already paid the price for all of your sins. God does not want to reject you. But the truth is that many times the people, the people are the ones that reject the Lord. But all the people need to do, all the person needs to do, all that you need to do because God does not want to reject you. All that you need to do is call upon his name. Humble yourself, trust in him, and he will lift you up. He will exalt you. He will forgive you. Because just like God told Samuel, they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting me, Samuel. And look what else he says. He says this, verse 8, According to all the deeds that they have done from the day I brought them out of Egypt, even to this day, forsaking me and serving other gods, so they are also doing to you. Now then obey their voice. Only you shall solemnly warn them and show them the ways of the king who shall reign over them. God is telling Samuel, Samuel, they've been doing this to me a long time. Since the time I delivered them 
from Egypt, and it was around three, four hundred years that God had already delivered them out of Egypt. He's saying, from the time that I delivered them out of Egypt, they've been doing this to me, Samuel, and they've been leaving me, and they've been serving other gods. I haven't rejected them, not one time. Oh, let me tell you something about God. God is faithful. Oh, God is loyal. Oh, when God loves someone, he loves someone, and he literally lays down his life for that person. As a matter of fact, that's why when the Apostle Paul is demonstrating to husbands how they should love their wives, he says this. He said, love your wife as Christ loved the church, and he laid his life down for her. See, something about God, when he loves someone, he surrenders all. He even lays down his life. When God loves someone, he is loyal. He is faithful. And let me tell you something about you. God is faithful and God is loyal to the promise that he has made through his son, Jesus Christ. It is a blood covenant. It is a pact sealed with blood. What blood? The blood of Jesus that he shed on the cross. God is loyal. God is faithful to that covenant. And when anyone calls upon that name, the name of Jesus, when anyone calls upon the name of Jesus, when anyone trusts Jesus Christ, the son of God, the holy anointed one, the savior of the world, when any person, no matter how far gone, no matter no matter how far away, no matter how down, no matter how do dirty, no matter how low, when any man, when any woman, when any person calls upon the name of Jesus, God will never reject that person. But God will lift that person up and God will forgive that person and God will restore that person and God will fill that person with his love and with his strength. But the truth is that people, they are the ones that are rejecting God. God does not want to reject you. God does not want to send anyone to hell. Jesus with his own mouth said this when he was here walking on earth. For the son of man did not come to the world to condemn the world, but to save the world. But there will be a condemnation one day. And the condemnation will come because people have rejected the savior. People have rejected the one who was trying to cover them. Just like Jesus, one day he saw Jerusalem after trying to reach them for three years and he wept over them. He wept over them with sorrowful tears. And Jesus said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how many times have I not tried to gather you as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you will not let me. He said, Jerusalem, you are the one that stoned the prophet and killed those who I sent to them. Jesus was trying to reach Jerusalem, but Jerusalem was rejecting Jesus. Now I want you to understand this. God wants to reach you and save you and forgive you and keep you saved. God does not ever want to reject you. That's not why he sent his son Jesus. He sent his son Jesus to save us, to save you, to forgive you, to wash you, to cleanse you. And he will walk with you every single day. Now, this is my question. Are you rejecting God? Because God is not rejecting you today. And if you want to receive this love, if you want to receive this new life, if you want to receive this forgiveness of sins that God offers through his son, Jesus Christ, repeat this declaration of faith. Say this. Say, Father God, I come to your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to forgive me for all my sins and all my faults. Jesus, I believe you are the son of God, that you died on the cross for the salvation of my soul and the forgiveness of of all my sins. Jesus, change me, save me, and make me new, and give me the strength to live for you the same way you died for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I want to let you know that if you make that declaration of faith, God's holy word says that you have the God-given right to be called a child of God. Your sins have been forgiven, and God is with you, and he will never leave you and never forsake you. Remember, God has not rejected you. Surrender yourself to him, humble yourself to him. He will wash you and cleanse you and he will save you and he will be with you every single day of your life. I pray this video was a blessing to your life. If it was, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, press the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you can be alerted every time I post a brand new video. And also, if you would like to show your appreciation for this channel or for this video, you can do so in one of two ways. You can give something like this. It's called Super Thanks. It's down there next to the share button. And the second way is called channel memberships, $5 a month, about $1.25 a week. And in return, you get special badges, special stickers, and access to archive videos. And also, July is my birthday month. 
So if you would like to give a super thanks for my birthday month as appreciation to these videos or to these channels, that would also be greatly appreciated. July is my birthday month, and any super thanks that you give is a great blessing to my life. So give a super thanks. It's right there by the share button if that's something that you feel in your heart. Or if you want to become a channel member, click the link in the description. God bless you, and before you click off, watch one of these videos that are popping up on your screen. Have a blessed day.